the reason why I say it's not the gym, it's the workout. Because every motherfucker in the world that I've ever met that has a heart beating inside of them has a tendency, including myself, to blame the environment or to blame the job or to blame something else but themselves. And every time I'm faced with a challenge, I always say to myself, it's not the fucking gym, it's your workout. Meaning, have you ever seen, you know, there's this guy, shout out to Hannibal out in New York. His old ass is still working out on bars and stuff, right? There's a whole bunch of dudes out there that don't have resources and they're doing dips on benches. They're putting cinder blocks out there, lifting them. I see these dudes in Africa that are working out and they look amazing and they've got car axles that they're lifting up. It's never the fucking gym. Meanwhile, you go to some ritzy ass fucking places, right down the street there's this ritzy ass gym. If you sat out there in a car, you see all these motherfuckers with matching workout attire and you know, fucking name brand shit. And they go in and they come out, they still got fat ass bellies and little arms, right? Because they got these lavish gyms that are beautiful, but it's all for sure. They got all the equipment a human being can ever fucking need, but most Americans are still fat as fuck. Meanwhile, you look at these dudes that have, they're working out on fucking children's playground equipment with, with work gloves on and they're ripped to shreds. That's because their fucking focus is on their workout. You see people that are, I, I saw something of 50, 60, 70 year old men doing chin-ups like no tomorrow. They have no equipment, but they're focused on what they're doing rather than what they have, rather than the resources. They're looking at resourcefulness. So with real estate, real estate professional, people are always talking about this brokerage offers this fucking thing. I don't give a fuck what they offer. This brokerage is, I don't know, they got fucking robots that'll go out there and knock on a fucking door and all you gotta do is show up after they've knocked on the door. I don't know. They're always like some shiny new fucking object. But I'm enamored by the basics and the fundamentals of business. And so no matter how great the environment might be, unless your mindset is to focus on your activities, you'll never get to greatness. So stop blaming the fucking gym. Stop talking about your job. Stop fucking complaining about this or that and focus on you, your activities, and what you bring to the fucking table. It's about taking responsibility. If you're fat as fuck, it's not the gym, it's the workout, right? If things aren't going the way they should be going, and your workout is great, then you lack consistency, right? You're working out once in a blue moon, you're not working out enough. I want you to focus in on your workout and be consistent because consistency is what transforms an ordinary person into an extraordinary person, an average person into an excellent person, mediocrity into a champion. Think about that the next time you want to whine and complain about my gym doesn't have that quad machine. Shut the fuck up and go out there and do squats. Oh, you know what? It doesn't have the latest lunge machine. Shut the fuck up. Go ahead and fucking do lunges in the parking lot. If you're about progress, stop blaming other people. That's what, it's not the gym, it's the workout. That's why I've made t-shirts and fucking hats and everything else. The next time you start complaining, listen to yourself and say that term and hopefully it'll hit you in the heart and get you to change your mind about the shit you talk about. If you like real content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this shit with someone that's been complaining and I'll see you in the next video.